Well, it is the fastest growing sport in America, and today is National Pickleball Day. It's fun to watch, too, but as more people are stepping out onto the court, a growing number of players are also having to step into the doctor's office. That's right, and this morning's Health Insider, our Noelani Graf, shows us why pickleball injuries are on the rise. Good morning to you, Nohei. Good morning, ladies. So, smaller court, smaller racket, and yet, Valley doctors say they are inundated with related injuries. So our health insider goes over the most common issues and how to prevent them from getting you into a bit of a pickle. The paddles are similar to ping pong, a net like tennis, the court similar to badminton, and you hit what looks like a wiffle ball. Add in the fact the creator of pickleball named the sport after his dog, and you can't help but smile when you start to play. But Valley doctors are seeing more patients moaning in pain after a game. We are seeing more of these injuries just because more people are playing it. While more, sometimes cocky, younger players are picking up the sport. Pickleball is a sport for old people. And I think that I'm just going to wipe the floor with them. I got crushed by these guys named Harvey, Lyle, and Al. But I've never met somebody 26 that's named Harvey, Lyle, or Al. It is still dominated by players in their golden years. More folks who are older, um, maybe they were former tennis players, but now because of arthritis and other problems, you know, you have a less amount of court to cover with pickleball. ABC 15 Health Insider Dr. Shad Marvasti says that means bodies that are more prone to injury. The most common, ankle sprains. Just because it's the sudden movements of where you're going to one side and then you have to turn quickly and pivot, right? So you can kind of twist your ankle. Overworked shoulders, rotator cuff, wrist fractures. Lose your balance and then you fall on your outstretched hand um, and wrist, and then you break it. And foot problems for athletes who've been on the court for a few years. Prevention, pretty straightforward. Like my PE coaches throughout the years in school, like would always say, stretch, stretch, stretch. A little pre-game prep, so an injury doesn't sideline your game. So those stretches are things like the arm pulls, some leg stretches. You can even trace the ABCs with your ankle. And if you have an old knee or foot injury, ACE bandages, of course, go a long way. Iris?